Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of a Tucson Mass Doc channel on YouTube. We have an interesting problem here. We're supposed to find a graph of a g of x based on its base function, which is y equal to x squared. We're going to shift the four units to the left and then stretch it by factor of four vertically, and then I'm going to reflect by y axis. Let's take a look at it. So the way we started it is a simple enough function. Okay, it's y is equal to x squared. Okay, we're going to shift it four units to the left. Let's see, four units is here. Okay. Now, a lot of students say, well, shift it four units to the left. Left, You would think it makes sense. Uh, it should be x minus 4 squared, but that's not the case. Okay, the reason is that when we set x minus 4 equal to 0, you can see the new minimum point happens at x equal to 4, which is to the right. Okay, so this one is flipped around, but there's no need to memorize it. If it's shifting to the minus 4 or left, you just want x equal to minus 4, which means x minus 4 plus 4 equal to 0. Okay, so the g of x, let's put a 1 in there, when you shift, is actually equal to x plus 4 squared. Okay, so it's kind of backward. Now this one would make sense because x plus 4, when that equal to 0, that point is at x equal to minus 4. Okay, so the vertex for this newly shifted is minus 4 and 0. Okay, that's to the left. Okay, and then we're going to shift, uh, we're going to stretch it vertically. So it's four times what we had it before. Okay, that makes sense because let's say if I had a 1, x equal to 1, before I would have x plus 1 squared, which is uh, 2 squared, which is 4. Okay, now after I stretch it vertically, I'll have 4 times 4, which is 16, which I stretched by factor of 4. Okay, now the last one we're going to do is going to reflect by y-axis. So basically, here comes the curve. Okay, minus 4, it's a pretty skinny one. Okay, so this is a g of 2x that we had earlier. That was 4x plus 4 squared. Okay, now we're going to reflect it by y-axis. So basically, it's going to come over here now. Okay. So basically, whatever x I had before, it becomes the minus x, okay, opposite of it. So equal to 4 minus x plus 4, the whole thing is squared. So all I did is I replaced the x to the y, uh, to the minus x. That gives me the reflection by the y-axis. All right, so here's the final answer, and hope it helped. Have a confident day.